Voting by mail is expected to play a major, if not vital, role in the upcoming November election. Yeah, CBS 12's Chuck Weber is studying the results and trends from yesterday's primary vote held in the middle of a pandemic. Chuck? Take a look. Palm Beach County elections workers are going through mail-in ballots where there were problems with the signature. This is a typical routine following an election. And for this primary, there was a record number of mail-in votes. We were close to 70 percent for this. That's right. Nearly 70 percent voted by mail-in ballot in yesterday's election in Palm Beach County. Without Supervisor of elections, works. Wendy Lane. I think this is definitely the largest number of mail-in votes we've had for a primary. A county primary record of more than 180,000 votes by mail. Supervisor Lincoln, her counterparts across the state, had promoted mail in voting for months. We got a lot of calls that people don't feel comfortable being in line, especially with COVID. Uh, but some people talk about civil unrest. They Link says she expects another significant mail ballot return in the November election, even with the expected much larger turnout for a presidential vote. I think it's going to be the way that the majority of the people vote. Yeah, I think we'll see for sure over 50 percent are going to vote by mail in November. Even with President Trump raising questions about mail-in voting and the Postal Service recently reducing some resources, although that stopped, Supervisor Link says she's seen no problems with postal deliveries. Link says she believes requesting a vote by mail ballot is just smart. You can still vote in person, but you have flexibility. Getting your vote by mail ballot's a safety net because if you can always vote it, it is easy. Here we have prepaid postage. The deadline to request a mail in ballot for the November election is 10 days before the vote. In Riviera Beach, Chuck Weber, CBS 12 News. All right, thanks, Chuck. And for all the primary election results and reaction in Palm Beach County and along the Treasure Coast, just head over to our website, cbs12.com, and click on the Election Results tab.